Hi friends, today I have a quick and simple seated yoga practice that you can do anytime that you need a little break throughout the day. It's designed to help you strengthen and lengthen your spine, increase mobility in your shoulders and neck. So it should feel nice and calming any time of day. So the first thing you want to do is find yourself in a grounded position, lining up your knees with your hips and your ankles and feet directly underneath your knees. You'll probably have to scooch a little bit forward on your chair so that you can get your feet flat on the floor. And from there, you're gonna to wanna to draw your shoulders back over the hips and stack the crown of the head over the tailbone, creating a nice long line in your body. And we'll start with just a couple of clearing breaths. A clearing breath is exactly what you think it is. Big inhale through the nose. And an exhale and sigh through the mouth. <sighs> Inhaling through the nose. <sighs> and one more time. <sighs> we'll start to open up the shoulders. Let's take a big inhale to squeeze the shoulders up to the ears. Ooh, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale to float the shoulder blades down the back. I'm going to be doing a couple shoulder circles here. Inhaling the shoulders forward. Exhaling to roll them back. Moving with your breath. Arms can rest at your sides or on your thighs. And then switching directions. Rolling the shoulders forward, down, and back up. Pausing there. And then gently dropping your head towards your chest. Rolling your right ear to your right shoulder. And we'll stretch the left arm away from us. Finding extra space in the side of the neck on the left. You should feel this stretch coming here from the top of your shoulder up to your ear. Inhaling the head back to center, chin to chest, and then the left ear falls to the left shoulder, right arm reaches down and away. center. We'll just roll from side to side. Right ear to right shoulder. Around through center. Chin to chest. Left ear, left shoulder. We'll sliding back and forth for a few breaths. Settling back to center. up, stacking crown of the head over the tailbone, nice long spine, but we don't want to force it straight. You want to keep the natural curve of the lumbar spine. Shoulders rolling back and down, collarbones open so you have lots of space to breathe. Taking a couple of big inhales and exhales. Slowing everything down. From here, I'll take a big inhale overhead, lengthening through the spine, lifting the crown of the head, reaching the fingertips up. And we'll exhale, right arm down, stretching the left arm over, getting an opening into the side body. Continuing to roll the left shoulder down away from the ears. Inhaling center. Exhaling over to the left. Right arm reaching up and over. Shoulder drawing back and down. Maybe you look up at the right hand. Inhaling back to center lengthening, trying to lift up out of the sit bones or the hips, I should say. 
finding space in the side body by relaxing the shoulders away from you. And exhaling back down. I'm going to do a couple of seated cats and cows to keep them warming up the spine. So with the hands rest down the thighs, feet ground up into the floor. We're going to inhale to lift the chest through the arms. Exhale as we press into the hands and arch the upper back, drawing the chin towards the chest, creating that rounding sensation. And inhaling to lift up, drop. Exhale around. Moving with your breath. center, finding that grounding again, and you'll stay right where you are. I'm going to turn just so you can see me. We're going to do a couple of stretches to get into the upper back. So we'll start by reaching the left arm forward and then drawing it across with the right hand. So you've probably done this stretch before, but um, you might not have known to draw the left shoulder down. So you'll feel a more of a stretch there. Only drawing the arm as close to the torso as feels comfortable. And releasing down, stretching the right arm forward, and then across the body, drawing the shoulder blade down, keeping the collarbones open. And releasing back. We're going to do um, a seated version of our eagle pose. So if you've done yoga before, you might know eagle pose, the standing balance. We're going to do it right here on our seats. It'll help stretch up into the hips a little bit, and then it'll stretch the upper back. So we're going to reach our left arm forward. Right arm is going to come on top so that the right elbow sits into the left elbow crease. And from here, you can hold on to shoulders, or the backs of your hands can touch, or you can wrap so that the palms touch. And wherever you're at, you wanna lift the shoulder, elbows up and away from your face. You get that stretch into the shoulders. And then since we've got the left leg or left arm on the bottom, we wanna cross the left leg over the right. Squeezing the inner thighs together and then trying to get the shins parallel to each other. So you should feel that stretch in the outside of the left hip. Trying to find a little more length in your spine. And then only if it would feel good for you, you can tilt forward a little bit, drawing elbows and knees towards each other. And bringing it back in, unwinding everything. We're gonna draw that left knee over so that the left ankle crosses over the right knee. So here's a seated version of our pigeon pose. Pigeon pose is a really big hip opener that we do in yoga class a lot. So you can see here, I've still got the grounding happening in my right foot. Left ankle is crossed over right knee. And then just draw the left knee down a little bit. Maybe you want to inhale to lift the chest forward. Exhale, you can hinge it if you want a deeper stretch in the outside of the left hip. Trying to keep the length in the low back so that you're not rounding into the toes. Sometimes rounding is nice, but here you're going to feel a little bit more comfortable if you keep the space in the low back. And coming back up, we'll go ahead and uncross, grounding down into the left leg. We'll take the right hand forward, 
right left elbow is going to come into the right. Remember, you can hold onto shoulders, backs of the hands, or fronts of the hands. We're going to lift the elbows up and away. So you should really feel this in your upper shoulders and back. And then we'll cross our right leg over our left, squeezing through the inner thighs, and maybe trying to draw parallel the two shins. You might not get through, but it's nice to think of it. It's a big inhale to lengthen the spine, stacking shoulders over hips. And then if you want to, you can tilt forward a little bit. crossing and then we'll take our right ankle over our left knee pressing our right knee away from us finding a little bit of space there and then if it would feel good to you you can hinge forward once again keeping the length in the spine you should start to feel this in the blue the outside of the hip. Sitting up. Uncrossing the legs. Once again, grounding down into the feet. Finding length in the spine. We're going to do a forward fold to finish up. Forward folds are great, very introspective poses, good for anxiety and stress. So big inhale to Lengthen the spine. Exhale, we're going to fold over our legs. So you want to start by finding that length in the back first. So maybe you lift your heart forward on the inhales. Exhales to round. And then if you feel like you can go a little deeper and you want that stretch into your hamstrings, keeping the knees soft, you can lift off of your chair and fold over your legs. So this is up to you how big of a bend you want, or maybe you don't want to bend in your legs, but you want to keep that length in the low back and let the crown of the head reach towards the floor, whether you're seated or standing. If you're standing, you want to draw the weight into the front of the feet, the top two thirds, and you want the back of your neck long. Now, no matter where we're at, we'll sit back into the chair and gently come up. Finding our grounding pose again. Ankles underneath the knees, knees in line with the hips. Crown of the head lifted. In yoga, we like to draw our hands to heart center at the end of practice. So maybe you want to do that. Your thumb plugs into your chest, chest lifts. And then normally we end a yoga class by saying namaste. Namaste um, kind of translates into something like the light in me recognizes and sees the light in you. But it's a little bit deeper than that. It's, like it's a very much like um, I see and respect you as a person. I appreciate your existence, that kind of thing. So that's how we always end our class. Namaste.